Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond 13th Gate. In our last video, you heard Drew mention his very well-known character, Frankie. And I'm sure a lot of you have to be wondering, where did Frankie come from? Well, fear not, because in this video, Drew tells us all about 13th Gate's very own resident janitor, Frankie. Check it out. Ah, uh, whenever you create a character that sticks around, the way that Frankie did, uh, Frankie became, for a while, the unofficial, official, unofficial spokesperson for the gate. Uh, he was uh, in short films and uh, uh, TV, uh, TV spots, and uh, so he kind of got a bit of a reputation. Uh, I even did interviews for different magazines in character as Frankie. So once he gets out there, people start looking for him. Frankie is the janitor of the haunted house, which means Frankie can be anywhere. Frankie belongs to the house itself. I'm typically out in the line, or I might be walking through the lobby to go clean up a mess. So I might be somewhere else in the house, hiding around a corner. It's not a bad gig. Meta character. Now, I've been playing this character for so long that he's become kind of a part of me. Uh, we have this thing called intrusive thoughts. Intrusive thoughts are whenever you're driving along in the interstate going at 80 miles an hour and you suddenly just have that thought in your head that goes, I'm gonna go that wheel, see what happens. Or you're standing on the edge of a building, somewhere real high, look over and just think for just a second about jumping off. You don't do it. You're not seriously intending on doing it. But for a second there, there's a little voice in your head that tells you to. I gave mine a name. And he's Frankie. Now, the character himself, a lot of it's based around these babies. I'm gonna get this thing out of here. These teeth. They're called, uh, these are from a, a company called Dental Distortions. They've been in the game for a long time. I find the works to be pretty quality, and uh, every actor leads with a certain part of their body. They uh, affect some part of themselves, and that's the thing that they create the character from. In my case, it's almost always my mouth. So with Frankie, I put these teeth in. And, uh, you know, Frankie, he's, he's, not a, he's, he's not all right upstairs. He's got this little plate in his head. Uh, ever since he got that plate put in, I guess these awful headaches. It's cutting off the optic nerve in the right eye. I cover up my left eye, I can't see a damn thing. But ever since I got this plate put in, I started hearing voices. I thought I was going crazy there for a little while. Then I figured out, it's just the CIA trying to control my thoughts. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I figured it out too. I was getting kind of worried there for a little while. Dan actually gave me one of my first extended bits that I used as Frankie. Because Dan, old Dan, he used to sit there at the, the booth at the Waffle House uh, every day newspaper and a, a cup of black coffee. He'd sit there for hours. And he wore this red trucker cap that he'd take off if he was in need of sympathy, which he typically was. And you'd see this big, long, knobbly scar that started right about there and linked around the back of his head. And then he'd tell anybody that listened about the metal plate that he got in his head and how he died on the operating room table three times. Well, it's his fault. He's crossing the road. He admitted it didn't look both ways before crossing. 18-wheeler come, run me right over. Just got my brains halfway from there to laugh at you. Well, the driver of the truck, Christian man, picked me up, brought me on down to the hospital, and they saved my life. But I got this metal plate in my head. And ever since I got this plate put in, I get these awful headaches, cutting off the optic nerve to my right eye. I'm gonna cover up my left eye, can't see a damn thing. Well, that was interesting. That was such an interesting character. And so whenever it came time to create this janitor, I had to pull from somewhere, and I didn't want to just regurgitate the same horror movie trope. So I thought about, I thought about old Dan, and so eventually that became a bit with the character. One time, thinking that I would create a 4D experiment experience for the guest, I thought I want Frankie to smell really bad too. Uh, I'm going to chew on raw garlic throughout the night. What the right thing? Ah. Uh, so I was walking through the through the house and I heard somebody go, you smell Italian food? Ah, oh, well, that killed it. So, you know, don't chew garlic or anything, but find other things that you can incorporate too. And remember, 
When y'all get on down there to hell, y'all tell what Frankie sent you. Thank you guys for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this more in-depth look into Drew's character, Frankie. Uh, if you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing and becoming a part of our notification squad by hitting that bell. Uh, and if you had any questions or comments, make sure you just leave them right down there below and we'd be happy to get back to you if we can. And we'll see you next Saturday.